hello everybody welcome to my channel and today's video um <clears throat> a little bit of a, a new style of video for me today i'm going to be doing a get ready with me um i'm a little bit apprehensive um because i thought it was about time that i did one of these and a little bit of a chat with you all about me just so you can get to know me a little bit more who I am where I'm from why I have my channel in the first place um so yeah oh, here we go I don't know and the palette I've chosen to play with a bit more today is my BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette I really love this palette I'm, I was really impressed with it um I've only used it once twice no twice I think um and I will link that video up here for you now if you fancy going and checking that out so let's get into it uh I'm not really sure what look I fancy going for I know I want to do kind of a grungy gothic -y look today which is my normal sort of staple everyday look for me um I'm thinking I'm going to be using the purples maybe the black some shimmers we'll find out so where to start that's kind of the uh kind of the difficult thing my name um as highlighted by uh donna one of my lovely subscribers you've been with me for a while now donna uh first of all i want to say thank you uh for sticking around and yeah no i've never told you all my name that's not been a, a conscious thing it's not been a deliberate thing um i'm not quite sure why i haven't um but my name is actually kirsty uh i am kirsty with a y as well i'm not an ie um i am a y um so hi um I think initially, I, it's probably probably stems back as to why I decided to start my channel. And I'm actually quite a private person. In fact, I'm, I'm probably a very, very private person. So the fact that I've started a YouTube channel, um, potentially going out to lots and lots of people, is kind of a bit of an odd one and I think I want I didn't I didn't really want to disclose too much about myself initially maybe because I wasn't sure whether or not the channel would take off um, whether or not anybody would watch um, so yeah so that's probably why I haven't sort of mentioned my name I've just realized I am I'm wondering why my hair's doing me head in and I haven't put my headband on just a minute haha uh, -ha, there we go because my hair never used to be this long I've had it incredibly short for a lot a lot of years over 20 years um, and just recently i decided to start growing the front bit out i just got a little bit fed up i mean i've literally over 20 years of having the same hairstyle so i was getting a little bit like not fed up with it because i love my hair short it's nice and easy to do you know five minutes in the morning styling my hair i, I can't be doing with spending an hour every day doing my hair i'd rather spend an hour doing my makeup um but I just wanted to change up the style a wee bit and it was sort of like I want to grow it but not all of it um so I decided to just grow the front bit out um just to add something uh did to do gone lopsided like normal so yeah so that's another reason I now always have a headband on just to keep that front fringy bit out the way so I've got got some room to work and so it doesn't annoy the living daylights out of me so where am I from 
I obviously I hope you can tell by the accent I am UK uh, and I actually live in the north of the UK I'm not going to tell you exactly where I live um, but all I will say is I am a Yorkshire girl um, born and bred for most of my life um, and I am very proud to be a Yorkshire lass um, and I live in a in a town, I don't live in a city, I live in a town but I'm on the very very outskirts of the town and my nearest two cities to me are Sheffield or Leeds so that gives you a rough idea whereabouts I am. Um, but I spent my teenage years uh, growing up in Derbyshire. Um, I've always been, I've always been somebody who's always been a little bit different, a little bit alternative, never really fitted in with the in crowd at school. Uh, I was never one of the popular girls um, or anything like that. Never wanted to be, to be perfectly honest. Um, but from a very young age was into rock music and um, music that you wouldn't normally expect a seven, eight, nine, ten year old to be into. Um, my uncle bought me one of my the first albums I ever got was uh, Bon Jovi's Slippery When Wet. And my uncle bought me that on tape, on old cassette. Um, when I was nine, yeah, nine, I think, no, eight, nine, something like that. Um, so yeah, I am very much a goth and a rocker. Uh, like I say, um, my teenage years were spent in Derbyshire and I used to frequent Nottingham. Um, I still love Nottingham as a city. Uh, it's so diverse. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, but when we came back to my hometown, we moved back when I was 16, 17 years old. And of course I got used to doing my makeup in a very gothic out there style. Um, I came back and obviously continued. I didn't see anything wrong with it. Completely forgetting that the town that I live in is an old mining town is very backwards in its thinking sometimes and I used to go out around town to um, the old student nights on a Tuesday night and I would be in my usual goth clothes with my usual makeup on and I would get spat at, eggs thrown at me, um, just a lot of hassle really which I really wasn't used to um, because you go out around Nottingham, or well, certainly 20 odd years ago, you used to go out around Nottingham and you never used to get any hassle because there's quite a big alternative and gothic culture in, in Nottingham. Or like I say, there used to be years ago. Um, so yeah, so that was a bit, and it sent me right into my shell, really, really into my shell. And I didn't want to, um, I sort of, I closed in and I stopped wearing all my clothes, stopped with the makeup, everything. Anyway, that altered a few years ago, but we'll get to that in a bit. And the other problem I've always had is if you ever talk, hear me talk about my funny shaped lips, I mean, you can see I've got really weird shaped lips. That's because I was born with a hair lip and cleft palate. Um, if you don't know what a hair lip and a cleft palate are, basically it's where the this area of the face doesn't join up when you're forming in the womb. And so when you're born, the lip can be rolled back, you can have, um, so there's a gap in the lip, and also the roof of the mouth can be split open. Well, it's not split open, it's just, it's open because it hasn't closed up and formed properly. So because of that, obviously, I've, I've always been the target for bullies. Um, right from primary school, right from the age of five, I the names Frogface, Lionface, um, Frog Features, all sorts of names. So 
maybe that's why that's what's not helped with the sense of fitting in or not fitting in i should say um maybe that contributed to it i'm i'm not entirely sure um i never particularly had a massive group of friends when i was younger and to be perfectly honest i'm the same now i have literally a handful of friends and it it takes me a long time to classify somebody as a friend I have a lot of acquaintances, people I know, but I don't let people in. I don't let people in. It's a self-preservation thing um, because over the years I have had people that I supposedly thought were friends and then they've ended up, you know, not being very nice. And so you do learn that just to keep yourself a little bit more guarded and not be so open and honest with people um, which is a shame but you know it happens so yeah so that's probably why I didn't want to uh, reveal too much about myself initially with my channel I just wanted to do the videos see how they went and the reason I decided to start a channel was because I turned 40 last September and I'd sort of I'd got out of wearing makeup so often um, I used to wear it all the time I used to work for um, a high street brand in the UK and so we would um, sell all bath and body stuff and makeup and so obviously we had to wear makeup for work um, and when you've done that for quite a while and you've been you know you have to wear literally a full face of makeup all day every day for work when you leave that environment you kind of then don't want to then wear makeup you want to have a bit of a break from it um, and having children as well. I do have children. Um, I've been with my husband for 21 years this year and we've been married 16. We have three gorgeous boys um, who are 10, almost 9. My middle one is 9 next month and my gorgeous little baby uh, will be 2 in April. He was the shock of the century, um, but he's an absolute delight, makes me giggle every day. Um, so before my youngest was born, um, I'd been back at work a few years, I'd, I'd just started a new job actually, working back in a primary school as a teaching assistant, which I absolutely loved. Um, then it, of course, I had my youngest and it was like well this is going to be definitely going to be the last one so I've not, not gone back to work I've decided to stay at home and um, to look after him um, and I'm very lucky because financially you know we manage which we don't have a extravagant lifestyle we don't you know go abroad every year or anything like that but financially we could manage um, without me working which I'm very very thankful for so yeah so I'm, I'm a stay-at-home mum and housewife um, which I love um, and I love being at home um, I've always said to people I don't I don't need work to fill my days. I'm I'm happy at home. I'm happy in my own company. Um, I suppose you could say, in one respect, I'm a little bit of a loner. I am, and I'm not. I I describe it as I'm selectively sociable, <laughs> or selectively social. I like to socialise when I want to socialise. Um, you know, I'm I'm not somebody who needs to be 
around other people all day every day um so yeah so that's me um so oh sorry i've just got something in my eye hang on a minute oh i don't know what that was but ah there we go um so yeah going back to being 40 and sort of Having children, again, you don't really have the time to be doing your makeup all the time. You also don't go out very often, um, which was one of the reasons why I left it until my thirties to have kids. Um, because, you know, we'd done our going abroad and having the time, just me and my husband. Um, and, you, you know, you do have to make sacrifices when you have children, financially and lots of other things. Um, you know, you, you there you focus. Um, so yeah, so we we very rarely go out these days. Um, so there just wasn't a lot of point in a way, or I, I not a lot of point to putting makeup on, but I didn't I didn't find as though I'd got a reason to put makeup on very much. Um, so I hit forty and. I mean, I've been watching YouTube and, and things for a while, and I sort of thought, you know what? This doesn't seem to be anybody my age. If you out there doing this, if you search bold and dynamic eye looks for the over 40s, oh, really? Um, what was coming up? I was just like, that is not bold and dynamic. That is not what I classify as bold and dynamic. Uh, that's what I classify as a neutral everyday go to work look. Um, it just, yeah. I mean, I've since found out there are people out there of a, of an older age that that like colourful, bold, dynamic makeup. Um, but I thought, no, do you know, there's got to be people my age. You know, when I was younger, learning how to do makeup, we didn't have YouTube. We didn't have tutorials out there you either had to go and book an appointment with an actual makeup artist and they would show you um or you basically learn yourself i mean i'm a another bit of information that's probably another reason i get so into my makeup is i'm a dancer or i was a dancer i'm i'm now a hundred percent officially retired. I have retired a couple of times and then I've been drawn back into it. Um, but I am officially, <laughs> officially, officially retired now. Um, and um, so obviously when you're on stage performing, your your makeup has to be quite out there um, so that it can be seen off stage by the audience. Um, so yeah, so that's, so being a dancer and performing on stage and then coupled with obviously having a more rocky, um, gothic -y sort of aesthetic and, and leaning towards that, um, that's where I learned to do my makeup. So, um, like I say, obviously getting older, um, I sort of, thought well you know let's start searching YouTube and seeing what other other brands of makeup are out there I mean I've been sort of out of the makeup game in that respect for so long that I wasn't you know I mean MAC, Benefit, uh, Max Factor, Maybelline, Clinique all these sort of uh, brands have obviously been going for a long, 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 long time. Um, but A, I could never afford them. And B, a lot of the, I used to find, a lot of the higher end brands of makeup I was allergic to. So my staples when I was younger um, were literally the old boots number 17, not even the number seven, um, number 17, and body shop. That was literally it. That was literally what I used to be able to use. 
um, because I've always had I've always had very very um, sensitive skin like hypersensitive to the point where like I can only use um, one or two sorts of washing up liquids can't use fairy it strips the skin off my hand completely um, so I, I can only use a couple of types of washing up liquid and um, wash powders I can't use biological wash powders um, so again that's quite quite a challenge but my skin has always been extremely extremely oily as well um so or you know finding makeup products in particular that i could wear has always been a bit of a challenge um i mean i think i've said before Max Factor Mascara, I cannot, and to this day, I cannot get Max Factor Mascara anywhere near my eyes because my eyes just blow up. Um, I don't know what's in it. There's something in it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I used to stick to the brands that I knew and the brands that I knew I was okay with. But... That was a long time ago, so I knew that obviously makeup and makeup brands had evolved uh, and I think understanding about sensitive skin um, has, has come a long way. Also obviously things like being cruelty free um, and vegan have, have really come on in the last few years. So yeah, so I wanted to go out there and try and search, find some help. I thought, right, I'll go to YouTube. And like I say, I couldn't really find what I was looking for. So I thought, well, if I can't find what I'm looking for, why don't I do it myself? So I did. And that's why I started my channel. Um, lots of to in and fro in, talking to my husband saying, do you think I'm absolutely nuts? Do you think I'm crazy? how on earth am I going to do this, you know, is anybody going to watch, and bless his cotton socks, he's been so supportive and so helpful, um, so he was just like, look love, just go for it, if, you know, there can't be just you out there that's looking for this, um, and it's like, yeah, do you know, I think after spending 10 years of being mum and literally sort of doing everything for everybody else, I wanted to be able to do something for me, um, something I enjoy doing. And I do enjoy doing makeup. I love doing makeup. Um, so, yeah. And... I sort of thought, well, the other thing is, I want to help. I'm a big, I'm, I'm one of these that, I want to give confidence. I want to help people. I want to, you know, you tend to find that when you talk to people of my sort of age and you know, they're all like, oh, you know, oh, you can't wear bold eyes and bold lipsticks once you get over 40 and all this. And I'm like, why? Why? You know, why not? Oh, well, you know. <sighs> no, it's about, is it society that's telling you that? Or is it you? Is it is it that you're feeling that you've not got the confidence to pull it off or to do it? And if that's the case, well, why not? Do you feel good in it? Does it make you feel good? Well, then, if it does, then do it, you know? God. Sometimes today I think we're too... We're maybe just a little bit too concerned or take on board too much or too to heart what other people think of us rather than being trying to be true to ourselves. You know... We spend all of our lives, maybe, or a lot of our lives trying to please other people. But if we're not pleasing ourselves, then actually what's the point? 
So, anyway, that's my view on things. Um, so I'm very much, you know, I wanted to be about maybe giving a little bit of help, a little bit of inspiration to people who might feel that their confidence does need some help, um, that they, they want to give the bold and dramatic eye looks a go, but they're not really sure where to start or, you know, how how to apply it, how to make those looks. Um, so that was the whole reason, that was the whole ethos behind starting the channel. Uh, the channel's been going now a couple of months and I am loving um, interacting with you all and getting to know you a bit better. And so that was another reason I thought, right, you know what, I think it's about time I sort of opened up a little bit and, and let you all in a little bit more as well. Um, because, you know, you do seem to be enjoying the content that I'm putting out there. Um, you know, so, yeah, it's like, let me give back a little bit to you all. So that's why I've decided to do this video. Um, I'm probably rambling on and my battery light is now flashing at me, so that could be good fun. Anyway, but there we go. So, that's why I started. Um, so yeah, so that's why I decided to start the channel. And hopefully, um, hopefully we can grow uh, as a little community. Um, I know I was, ho I, I posted in, because on my home page on my laptop I can I have um, a discussion tab so I posted in there and then anyway it turns out um, that if you're viewing YouTube on a mobile phone you can't see that tab which I didn't realize I do now um, because I don't own a mobile phone yeah no really honestly I don't own a mobile phone I haven't done for nearly eight years now and I absolutely love it. Uh, everybody keeps trying to get me to have one and I'm like, no, don't need one. Honestly, my life is so much less stressful without a mobile. It's amazing. Honestly, try it. It's fabulous. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do is... Because I'd, I'd posted on that discussion tab about doing uh, this video and I was asking if any of you had got any questions that you wanted me to answer in this video. So what I'm going to do is whenever I next decide I'm going to do a Get Ready With Me video, I will do um, like a very short video telling you that I'm going to be doing one of these and asking you for any questions that you'd like me to answer um and then what you can do is you'll be able to comment on that video and then all the all the questions and stuff will all be in one place for me so keep your eye out uh for that um i'm not sure when i'm next going to do one of these it depends how well this one is received um, but as a way round the fact that you lot if you're viewing on a mobile you can't see that discussion tab that is the plan that I have come up with um, yeah so there we go I am conscious that my battery light is flashing at me so I might just quickly finish this off. Um, might have to come back to it. We'll see see how it, the battery holds up and see if I can get this done before it completely puts on me. 
Um, I can't quite believe I've just realised I've ended up doing an all matte look which was not my intention and I very very rarely do all matte looks but there we go there we go so yeah so that's me I'm Kirsty I'm 41 this year I'm married I've got three children um, I'm a stay-at-home mom housewife um, and I really want to, I want to inspire, I want to help. Um, if you've, you know, got any questions uh, about makeup, about skincare, um, about anything really, uh, if you want to know some tips and tricks, um, please do comment, um, ask me those questions. I will always get back to you. Um, just deciding what I want to do next actually um yeah I will always get back to you um it might take me a couple of days because like I say I don't own a mobile um so I do everything on my laptop um there we go but I will always get back to you, so don't worry too much about that. Um, but please, yeah, let me know what you think to this video. Um, give me some ideas of other videos you'd like to see me do. Uh, I mean, obviously I do my unboxings. I um, obviously like to do the first impressions videos of palettes. Um, I've got some three looks, one palette videos coming out soon. Um, but yeah, any other ideas would be cool. Just, I do, I, I really want to grow a little community. Um, and just, yeah, just see who's out there, who's watching. Um, tell me a bit about yourselves as well, you know, where are you from, what do you like to do, what are your hobbies, um, do you work, do you not, you know, so that's me, and I'm just, just kind of popping this shimmer all over and kind of trying to fade it in a wee bit. I really like this one, it's gorgeous, got that bluey hues to it. So I think that's it, I don't know if there was anything else I was going to talk to you about today. Um, I wanted to let you know what sort of videos, like I say, I've got coming up. Uh, I've got a couple of haul videos coming out soon. Got me three looks, one palette video. Oh, that was, yeah, I'll just have to tell you about that. I was playing um, with my editing program last night. Spent three hours um, trying to get one of my videos edited. And did something wrong. Went to um, undo it pressed the undo button too many times I think and the program crashed and I lost all the work. Three hours worth of editing work that hadn't been saved and I lost it. Yeah. So that was rather annoying but um, I also thought to myself, well, it's given me a chance to play and to figure out new features in this editing program. So I'm not going to get down on myself. I'm going to take it positively. Um, and at least I've given, <laughs> I've had a play and one thing and another. Uh, so hopefully next time it should go a bit quicker. That's the plan. Don't know how it'll work out, but that's the plan. So my battery did go and completely die on me before I'd finished doing the look. 
So in the half an hour it's taken just to get enough battery charge back just to finish this video off. Uh, as you can see I've finished off the look. I have, what have I done? Um, using the excess on my brushes for one of the um, purpley colours, the darkest purpley colour I use, I've just smoked out under my lower lash line. Then gone in in the inner corner um, with the shimmer shade. I'll just lean in for you so you can have a look. Used the Ico London um, liquid eyeliner in black. NYX On The Rise mascara. Uh, and then on my lips, I've used my Jeffree Star lip liner in the shade Unicorn Blood. And then the bullet lipstick from Medusa's uh, makeup in the shade Chica. Um, and this is it. This is me. This is, you see, for me, this is a normal everyday look. I don't find this over the top at all. Um, but I am unusual, I know that. Um, but it's took me a long time. I spent 10 or 15 years not being me. Um, and it's only in the last sort of four or five years that I've kind of got enough gumption or felt good enough about myself to to fully embrace who I am. Um, like I say, this is me. I hope you've enjoyed this chatty get ready with me video. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to edit quite a bit out because there was a lots of ums and ahrings and not quite sure what to say or what to talk about. It's been a bit odd. Um, I hope to do more. Uh, so, like I say, please leave me some comments down below. Um, any questions you want to ask me, feel please feel free. And if this is your first time here to my channel, uh, the warmest of welcomes. Uh, thank you very much for watching all the way through this. Um, if you'd like to watch more videos, um, makeup tutorials, subscription box unboxings, uh, update videos on those subscription box products that we get, um, please make sure you're subscribed either by the little red button down below the video box or a little icon that's going to appear here now some some point uh, with my ugly mug in it. Press on either of those, that will subscribe you to my channel and there's a little bell icon in particular down here, uh, press on that, go to the top, click on all and that way YouTube will notify you every time I do upload a video. I tend to upload about three or four times a week, uh, they usually premiere or usually go live at about four o'clock London time in the afternoon. Um, like I say, thank you for watching everybody. Um, this is me, this is my channel, this is my type of look. And I hope you're going to stick around, I hope you're going to join me, uh, I hope you are going to follow me as this channel grows, or fingers crossed the channel's going to grow, um, and join in, please join in, uh, enjoy the rest of your day, I shall see you in the next one, bye.